my name's Ben. I'm currently taking three months away from the normal routine of work and life to have a bit of an adventure. I'm trying a few new things, not all unsuccessful, finding out a bit more about myself and trying to help some people along the way. With the great support around me, I'm hoping to really do some awesome things. And this is my sabbatical. This is me. Hello and happy Monday. My god, it's finally here. It's the last week of the sabbatical. It has been a full 12 weeks of insanity, adventures, madness, friends, new skills, talents, everything else. What should we start with? Today, I have my final singing lesson. Coming up now, I've got a little clip of me singing from before and after. They're both really short because I'm still super self-conscious about it, despite my best efforts. But I think you'll highlight there is a notable improvement between the two clips. To see for certain what I thought I knew Birds don't just fly, they fall down and get a hop Nobody learns without getting it one I won't give up, no, I won't give in till I reach the end. Hopefully you noticed that. What have I got planned for this week? Not a lot. It's going to be quite a relaxed week going back. I want to have sort of, this is my final week of holiday because I'm clearly not going to take a lot of time off in the near future. So it's going to be quite a chilled week. I'm going to do more of my personal trainer qualification. Sent off the updated version of my documentation for that and I'm going to book my exam. Nip in to pop up, see those guys. I'm also pretty tender and sore and spending some of my time just recovering, having had Tatter Day. Nice new piece done there. Got a picture of that now. It looks awesome, but it's quite swollen and sore still, so I'm trying to also just take it reasonably easy while my arm heals up. Through the rest of the week, I've not got a lot else planned. Seeing the family at the weekend, but aside from that, it really is just a a relaxed week through and through, that and prepping for the bodybuilding contest. So what I've had delivered now are my uh, super jazzy shorts ready for the contest, oh yes. So this week will be some time spent prepping for the contest and hopefully my first posing lesson as well. So once I've had that I'll uh, get some poses going for you. So the big question, did I enjoy the sabbatical? Now anyone who's seen me and has told me I'm having too much fun will already know, yes, I absolutely loved this time and I would not trade it for anything else in the world. I have had an amazing experience in these three months. I've met people, I've done things I've always wanted to try, I've had the time to relax, the time to do things I've always wanted to do. I would not change any of that at all, it has been so worth it. Have I learnt anything? I've learnt loads of different things from different places. I've learnt things about training, bodybuilding, I've learnt things about psychology from reading books, I've learnt aspects of singing, I've learnt the basics, I've had a couple of lessons in other things, as you've seen. I've tried pole dancing, ballet, all these different things. What are my takeaways? What are those big things I'm going to take away from it? The first one for today, so I'm going to try and do a couple of these this week, if not I'll do a recap with the rest in. The one for today though, is that when you do stuff with people who are passionate, whatever they're passionate about, it will rub off on you. And if you're in an environment where no one is passionate about what you're doing, then it is going to be hard for everyone. It takes one person to have that, not drive. If someone's pushing themselves because they think there's an outcome for it, but they're not passionate about what they're actually doing, that is different. I have done things with people who are passionate about what they do, and I learn faster and I enjoy it more. Whatever it is. When I tried gymnastics, no one there appeared to be passionate about it, so I didn't enjoy it. When I did singing, it was awesome. And I loved it, the instructor was so passionate about it, it felt so good. I went back and did more. We're going to do more ballet because the instructor was so passionate about it. Working and doing bits with Alan and pop-up guys, they're passionate about what they're doing. They really believe what they're teaching people. It exhausts them, some days, but they love it. And they're very passionate about it. And having also seen that, reflecting on some of my own experiences where I've tried to do things where normal's really passionate about what we're doing. I can see why it was so hard. So that's the, the one for today, which is doing something with some 
someone, anyone, at least one person in an activity has to be passionate about doing it. Ultimately, it will be hard for everyone involved. But I'd love you to have a think on that. I'll get some more videos up this week. I've got the time to do them. I've made the time to do them. I'll do some more reflections and I'm going to do a final reading list as well. Currently, I'm now working through Mindsight along with finishing off Tools of Titans and the 4-Hour Workweek. And I also start another fiction book alongside those. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll catch up soon. Bye. All the things that make you sing and tap your little toes. Oh, oh I want to know. Did you cry when your father said goodbye? Did he? 